Hey, welcome to part two of today's adventures. So the recycling trip was kind of a right in the middle of the day event, but it we had so much video of it, it seemed good to just put it all by itself. The day started with um, a visit for Michael's undergoing some testing this week and next week, having to do with his Parkinson's. So we started the day with that appointment and then we we found time to go to Lowe's and see if we could find some plans for building a chicken coop. Turns out he likes the ones that he's working on here at home, so he's just going to go with his own plans. And then we had a lunch date and dropped by the Wasilla Idea office, picked up a beautiful little basil plant and a ticket to the keynote speaker breakfast as thank yous for being um, volunteers this year. And then we came home and took care of a lot of projects around here. So we got some various video clips and we'll just roll from here. Well, here we are. We got the uh, stump. You can't really tell from here, but it's probably two and a half, three feet deep down in there. Uh, kind of looks like our own little uh, volcanic vent here. <laughs> I'm hoping it's not, but that'd really be cool if it was, at least for a little while. I had read some articles that said I needed to turn my compost five times every day for two weeks if I wanted a hot bed. And uh, it's not working. I took the temperature and it was like 40 degrees, which is just a, about a little cooler. Woo! There goes the black plastic. Um, <laughs> Oh no! <laughs> then um, it is out here. And so what I'm going to do now is just put some black plastic, if I can get it back, over the compost heap. And uh, that should protect it from rain that we're supposed to get. And maybe help it warm up a bit. And I'm not going to turn it quite so much and see if we can get it to start warming up. It just may be too early. Um, paste the black plastic down from the roof and across the yard, cut it open and did our best to lay it down, put some cardboard over the top, and maybe that'll help it warm up. I'm not gonna turn it all the time for a while, and uh, maybe it'll help the moose stay out of it too. So I've gotten into canning since we got here, and every time I go to the store, I've been picking up a dozen, and I told Mike, you need to look for, he's always looking on the Craigslist and the buy sell list, Look for some canning jars, and just like that, he hooked us up with this gal over in Meadow Lakes. Her and her husband are moving, and so I got 10 dozen jars. I've got gallons, see, three dozen quarts and four dozen uh, pints. And then she threw this in so I can do water bathing easier. And I don't even know how many of these uh, cute little half pints. So while they run to the recycling, I am going to stay home and wash jars and package them back up so that um, I can store them. Although she gave me a lot of great ideas of new things to try. And I'm working on dehydrating a case of apples. So, oh, <laughs> that's a beautiful picture. <coughs> so, <laughs> that worked really well. You'll have to talk up. I don't have an external mic. <laughs> Anyway, we're still working on this stump, and I wanted to show you how, boy, he just added something and it got real smoky, but that is quite the hole down there. So it's getting there. But are we going to do this for every tree? Oh, wow. I'm to figure out how we're going to do this. What about the salt way? Um, That'll well, take a while. Ones that I don't have to pull out this year. That uh, could work. That could work. Okay. But, but this year, 
Uh, it's either this or I try to cut the roots and pull it out. So I'll have to see what's going to work best. Hmm. Huh. Huh. <laughs> I vote we get started on the greenhouse. <laughs> Sides of the tree. But it looks like we're getting it. This is Harriet. She's taken now to climbing up Stacia's arms. But she's the one that's always first trying to get out. Yeah. Whenever the... Oh. oh, and there's Rosie Proudfoot. Oh, that was Harriet again. Yep, Harriet's a... She's a jumper flyer. She's gonna... And we do still have one just changed the cage this morning and already have a diarrhea over there. So somebody's not doing well. If we could figure out who, might isolate her, but we can't figure it out at this point. We know it wasn't one of the first three because it didn't start until we added the 15.